Hello, this is Diana with Before You Stamp. And just to recap what we're doing is the 4th of July explosion box. It's my wedding album after 13 years I'm finally doing it. And what we're using are four of the coin envelopes, two and a quarter by three and a half, and they're okay as is. You're not gonna do anything else with these. I'm using the Stampin' Up! Whisper White open in envelopes. They're three and a half by six and three quarter, and you'll use four of those. I cut a tiny sliver off the bottom, and then from the bottom up, you're gonna score at two inches. If you don't have the um, Stampin' Up! Uh, open end policy, I think they're like 20 for $8. Then you can use a regular envelope. What you're gonna do is cut a tiny bit off of both ends. You're gonna seal, Make sure you seal the bottom, put a little glue around so there's no open ends. So you're going to take a little bit off of each, each end, and then you're going to come up from the bottom, decide which one's going to be your top. So from the, the bottom up, you're going to score at one and a half inches. This is if you're using the regular envelopes. These are three and five eighths by six and a half. Walmart has these for... Eighty for dollar sixty-seven, or the ninety-nine cent store for a uh, hundred for ninety-nine cents. And actually, I did that on the first video, so I won't go over that and waste more time. So you're gonna need four of these. But in my project, I'm using these Stampin' Up. I'm just telling you what you could use if you don't have these. Then the next uh, size would be your open-end policy. These are four and an eighth by nine and a half. These are also uh, a size number 10. You're gonna leave the end with the flap alone. You're gonna cut a tiny bit off the edge of the bottom. And then from the bottom up, you're gonna score at three inches. And I was gonna put this in red and I forgot. So the reds are your score, score lines. If you don't have um, the open end policy, you can use a size number 10. And what you'll do is you'll cut a little sliver off of each end, and then you will score up three inches. So the same thing if you're using a regular number 10. And you're gonna need four of these. And then the last set is going to be your regular number 10 envelopes. You're gonna seal, seal it closed, glue down the little flaps, cut a tiny bit off of each end, and then you're gonna come down, decide which end's your top, and from the top down, you're gonna score at six and a half inches. These are number 10s, four and eight by nine and a half. And you're gonna need four of these. Now on mine, I am using, this is gonna be a little more complicated, but I'm putting a fifth envelope in because I want the different layers down. There's a big gap. It's a big gap between the coin and the stepping up. So I want to uh, add a piece in there to add, I don't know if you could see the different sizes. So what I did is I took a regular envelope, closed it up, sealed it. Then I trimmed a tiny bit off the top and the bottom. And then from the open, the closed end of the envelope over, I cut three inches. So this is a three inch, I made my envelope three inches wide. <clears throat> and then for deciding from where your top is, from the top down, you're gonna score it four and a half. So this is what it looks like before you start decorating it. So if you want to add, <clears throat> excuse me, add this um, extra envelope, then um, it's a regular, just a regular size, three and five eighths by six and a half. You're gonna need four of these if you're gonna do what I did. Um, you may want to replay this section of it if you're gonna add this. So regular envelope, tiny bit off of each end. Away from the fold, you're gonna cut three inches. Make sure this is three inches wide. Decide what's your top, come down four and a half inches. So that's my next um, envelope. So that's what we did on the first video is go over the papers that we're using, gave you the measurements, what to do on your envelope. So the next thing I'd like to do is the bases. And 
if you're using just the number 10s, the Stampin' Up, and then the coin, you're going to have, let's see if I can blow this up, you're going to have three bases, and this is what they're going to look like. And I just colored the paper so you can tell the difference. So you're going to need a three and a, three and a quarter inch square, a four and a half inch square, and a five and one eighth inch square. And then you're going to score all these at half inch all the way around. Now because I'm adding another layer, I needed a four inch square. Again, half inch scored all the way around. If you don't have the Stampin' Up! policy, you can use a regular envelope. And when you use a regular envelope, your square is going to be four and five eighths and score half inch all the way around. So let's go ahead and get those cut out. And you're only going to need one of each. So I'm going to need a three quarter inch, three and a quarter inch square. So I have a scrap paper here I'm going to use. So I'm just going to cut three and a quarter inch square. There's the first one. Then my second one, I'm doing four inch square for my base. And I'm doing all these blue. Only because it's handy and I had it. <laughs> okay, next one's going to be four and a half. This is because I'm doing all four layers. And my last one's going to be five and an eighth. And I don't think I can salvage this one. Let's see. Probably not. Nope. I hate wasting paper. I do, I do. So, five and an eighth. The only th thing I don't like about this ruler, this Fiskars cutting or trimmer, is between the five inch mark and the five and a half, it's hard to read the little tick marks on there. So, five and an eighth inch square is what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got all my bases. Let me move my samples out of the way. I'm trying to get this down because my son is still asleep and my hubby is uh, helping somebody with their AC. And when they're all up and around, it gets really loud. And then the birds go crazy. And then the dogs want to play. And then I can't do what I need to do. Okay, so now we're going to score on all of these half inch in. So this one I'm going to score at half inch. And that side, so I'll just do it this way. Half inch in. So there's the first one scored at half inch. I'm just going to fold these up. Same thing with this one. So this one's four inches, so I'm going to score it at half inch and three and a half. And then flip it, half inch and three and a half. And then I'm going to pull these over. And then the next one. So this one is the four and a half, did I say? Yes. So I can do the same thing, half inch and four. half inch and four and then where you score they call that the valley on the underside it's the mountain and the mountain you want to fold into or onto okay and then my last base this is five inches so I'm going to go half inch 
four and a half. Actually, this is five and one eighth, isn't it? So I better double check. Nope. Goofed. Okay, so the one I go no biggie it's gonna be on the bottom. All right, so pull these all in. Heading to our. We live out here in Tucson in the hot, hot state of Arizona. And the other day it got as hot as 113, so it does get pretty warm here. And then, um, so when we got married, it was really hot, and with us wearing um, a long dress and suits, we were burning up because we didn't get married in any. Um, air-conditioned church or anything. What we did is uh, we went to DeGrazia. It's um, De Grazia Galleries. I think it's like Gallery in the Sun. It's off of what's it? Sunrise River and Sunrise or something like that. Um, towards the end when I go over my album picking the pictures out, I'll show you pictures. But we had um, we used some of the De Grazia notes. Looks like a wedding, uh, like a wedding couple. We used those and we gave that to immediate family. And then we printed out others for invitations. They're very pretty, but it was also very hot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these corners off so that way we can, because um, if you don't, then you're going to have these little ends right here. You're not going to be able to work with it. So what I like to do is just go in and eyeball it at the corner and then I'm just going to cut off just like that, like a 45 degree angle. Just going to trim off. So there you go. First base. Little corners off. That's all you need. So go in and cut each one. And an angle. So I'm already at 13 minutes on the YouTube video, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these adhered down or not in this video. And then just throw your corners away. And there you have it. Your bases are ready. So get those. And set those aside. Let's go ahead and get rid of my little score buddy. Put it away because I'm not going to need it for a little bit. All right, so the first thing you want to do is I have laid out all my, so these are my four sets. I rubber band them off. I've already trimmed some paper for the sizes because I want to save time. So I've already got to do is go ahead and pull out the two number 10s off of each one. So you've got your first two envelopes, the number 10 and the number 10 open in. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to, the white one is on the outside and the yellow is on the middle. In between these two envelopes is what your base is going to to be set in. So you're going to have your envelope set inside like that. See that? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, attach these. Well, maybe I'll start in the, the video number three and do that for you. So I'll be right back. Thanks for staying and putting up with me, being patient. God bless.